Hello, Bethans. everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Jersey Nerds Podcast, your home for debates and discussions surrounding sports uniforms, hockey jersey design, and more. My name is Beepo, and I am just recording a podcast. And today we have Justin's significant other walking through the background. <laughs> <laughs> and a dog um, off camera. <laughs> and today I'm joined by Justin and Burkus. How are you guys doing? Good, uh, all things considered. I'm currently recording from one of my church's buildings because my home was about to be invaded by 40 high schools. Okay, you so mentioned this right before the episode. I wanted to get this on the podcast. Why? My, so, okay, this is going to take a while and go into how my church actually works. So, I was just hearing a plane fly by my friend, boy. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> my... <laughs> My church is divided into a bunch of things called home churches. They're like groups of like 20 to 40 people. And they're in like, it's based off the model in Acts 2. And then each, there's like a bunch of levels to them. I'm in a college group because I'm in college. And there's also like high school and middle and then adult groups. So one of my roommates leads in a high school group and they're hosting uh, his group at our house. Uh, so I, didn't want that to be in the background because they're a bit of a rambunctious spot. So, sure. religion, am I right? A different. <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, always stirring up shit. Uh, Against the Crusades all over. There's, the yeah, there's so much wrong with the American church as a whole today. But we're not going to get into that. Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. Except he uh, very so, much but, did expect it. <laughs> yeah, I, I found out about an hour before we were scheduled to start recording, which is an hour and a half ago. So, right. <laughs> so now, um, yeah, we're I'm in uh, one of the buildings. Uh, yeah, it's fun. And uh, I think I, Justin and I are in our normal spaces. I was going to say, house. <laughs> and another notable thing about this episode: first episode, I'm recording with my laptop. Let's go. Cool. Oh yeah, Burgess got his laptop back. He's no longer Burgess the laptopless. He is Burgess the laptop. No longer recording on his half phone. <laughs> I'm not recording on my phone. Not, not having to mooch off one of my other roommates. We're, we're, we're not a reference great. images like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know I have a nice full screen. I can make it even more full screen. And yeah, it's great. I mean, Hello, technically, I'm the webcam that I use is just my old phone, then, so I could just. Yes. Yeah. I love it. And then the other thing is that this laptop, uh, the you listen camera, to me. <laughs> the other thing is that the laptop, this camera, is at the bottom of the screen. So you guys get to experience what I call neckbeard illusion because you are at an angle going up my face, and it's kind of weird. Hopefully, I don't have any boogers. It's fine. We wouldn't Very tell you. Strange a design choice there to have it at the bottom. Yeah. I don't know. Blame Dell and the XPS. Deal. Well, deal. Well, deal. One more thing before we get into the meat of this episode, fellas. What are we wearing? And Pants. if you guys haven't noticed, we've got a bit of a theme. I'm wearing going shorts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing a Penguins jersey. If you you can see if you're watching, and Penguin sweatpants. Funny. Hey oh. I'm wearing a Blue Jackets jersey, a Blue Jackets oh. shirtsy underneath that, and Ohio State shorts. Wow, oh, we're getting that specific? Wow, I'm wearing... I'm also wearing jersey. red underwear. <laughs> I was oh, about to say, well, you wearing uh, blue jackets boxes or something? <laughs> y'all like... Just plain, plain red underwear, plain white socks. Nice. Here's my shoe. Is it normal for y'all to remember what underwear you're wearing? Like, I could not tell you what underwear I'm wearing currently. Like, I mean, I, I just, think I know I just remember because I'm wearing I today in particular, but... Hey, I, I don't even know socks i'm wearing like <laughs> it's weird because like sometimes uh, I, like especially if i do a new load of laundry i have like these you know some pairs that are black and some that are red and like gray and blue mm -hmm. and you know if they're all clean and they're sitting in front of me it's like oh cool i'll match but otherwise i'm just like all right let's grab whatever's clean i'll match <laughs> who do match, you think is like, watching or like your outfit <laughs> i'm uh, intrigued here. Uh, well the thing is the reason i remember is because i work at target for those who don't know and mm. I was like, and he oh, doesn't I'm wear wearing... pants on the job. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Oh my god, do you guys have no to match your boxers or... and your underwear to the uniform? 
No, I was just like, oh, hey, that's neat. I'm wearing, I'm working at Target, and I have run underwear on. It's in so case I, you're like, it's in case you're like bending you over. Can tell all your co about it? It's in I case like. Not. I've told no one and now. I don't I know. I think it's good if you're like. You know what? That's a good idea. If you're like, yeah, if you're like I, stuck I told, in the bottom, if you're stuck in the bottom shelf and you're like bent over, they don't see like where the shirt ends and where the underwear begins. Too. It's just like what. <laughs> But typically, when I do that, I do like marriage proposal style, where it's like I'm on one knee and I'm like mm. proposing to the laundry detergent. Stay next box, will you? <laughs> Make me the happiest man in the world and let me blow my nose. You know that song that's like it's uh, me the best or part, the PS5. The best... I guess he chose the PS5, right? <laughs> Question: The best part about that, the best part about that comment is that I have terrible seasonal allergies, I so that. I legitimately like. Kleenex boxes are a vital part of my life. I love it. <laughs> Incredible. Um, I'm wearing a Diagonal Pittsburgh Penguins jersey because they scored 11 goals wearing them the other day. So it seems seemed topical. Speaking uh, of those 11 goals that were scored, I'll be a little more specific. I'm wearing my 2019 Penguin Stadium Series jersey with you know, hat trick of Genny Malkin on it, who scored three of those 11 you goals. So You love it. All of us today I are in black jerseys, I... and Justin, I'll let you take it from here. What's that? Uh, yeah, so obviously, um, if you don't know, then you probably don't watch hockey and or don't understand pop culture. Um, but the Leafs, as of last week, unveiled their alternate jersey, um, their new alternate jersey, which means it will be you know, not a one-and-done thing. It will be back for at least the next three years. Um, but for their... Um, what you might call it, their uh, young kids game, next generation, that's the word. Um, for the next generation game, um, they unveiled their um, reversible um, jersey um, in collaboration with Justin Bieber on the design on it. Um, and definitely, you know, odd to see the Leafs go with a black jersey, a black primary jersey. Um, so we thought um, that we would make Beepo's life very uncomfortable and unhappy, given his... Um, distaste should we say for black sweaters um and we are going to is. interact with um all of these black jerseys and play a little new game that i'll get into later um but first you know let's talk about let's talk about these black jerseys obviously you know we can see the kind of in-game look to it there and then there's also the inverted um side with the the, the blue replaced by yellow and then the, the the maple leaf replaced by a sort of baby maple leaf with you know eyes and and leaves and kind of a, a a smile if you will at the bottom a little arch to it um so i know i know brendan you had a lot of thoughts on this do so you want to start by giving your rant and or evaluation and or whatever you will i do have a lot of thoughts on it but if you guys want to take over first uh and i'm going to take a look at or try Even to find better. a good reference image for both sides so yes I think Steve Dangle, one of his uh, recent thumbnails, is a good one. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's a jersey that has a lot of good ideas and innovation that just kind of sucks. Um, I like I like the tie dye like aesthetic in both like the inner logo and mm -hmm. in like the arm with the CN tower. I think that's really cool. Um, but I like the fact that you can invert it and flip. That's a really cool innovation. Uh, that you no, know, like would not probably not for this next series, but maybe like when they do it again in twenty twenty, or maybe like the reverse retros will literally be reversible retros. That would be kind of neat. Wild. That'd be pretty uh, wild. But you know, for now, it's it's a good. It has some problems. Uh, it's a good, like those are good ideas, but they have some problems. Yeah, one I mean, to I black, think one yeah, to I think black it's... on blue is pretty much unseeable from a distance. You absolutely like you you like still images. They kind of work, but like broadcast angle, it's just a black blob. You can't see any of it. Uh, and then the. Maple Leafs of Black just feels wrong on a moral level. But, you know, they wanted to be cool and edgy. Can't yeah, really blame them on that front. I think it's interesting because I think it's, for me, it's probably like the most drastic difference 
difference of any jersey or uniform set, whatever you want to call it, in terms of like close up versus broadcast. Like close up, like like you mentioned, I think it is if something feels a bit dirty and, and wrong about you know the Maple Leafs in a black jersey, but like it looks it looks really really cool up close. Like I I think the blue you know in close up shots does pop really well. Um, I don't even mind the, you know, outline only numbers. Um, but as you mentioned, and obviously, you know, this is the biggest test of any uniform is, is the broadcast. You know, that's how a majority of people are going to, you know, interact with the jersey, if you will. Um, and it's utterly unusable. It's a, it's a big black blob. The, the numbers are borderline unreadable. Uh, it, it really lacks that that contrast at a distance, but like up close and as a fan jersey, I think it's excellent. I think it's, I wasn't too keen on the, you know, inverted side um, at the start, but I think the more I've seen it in, in social media and stuff, I think it's really cool too. Um, and yeah. I think, you know, obviously it's selling a lot, so people like it. And if, you know, interacting with a celebrity like Justin Bieber is an avenue to get, you know, young people um people younger than ourselves you know engaged in the game i think it's excellent i mean i think anything yeah. you can do to 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 know, bring more people into the sport is great you know it, it feels a little weird um and you know it's definitely like a lot of really cool ideas the execution i would say is a question mark still for me but you know the the ideas and the goal and and what they were trying to do you know i think i think all of it is is super cool and you know really exciting to see you know, a team, if not the league, you know, taking that, you know, as, as a jumping off point and seeing where they run with it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you guys summed it up pretty well, honestly. Um, you know, I'm going to do my rant anyways, and there's going to be a bit of repeat in that, like, there's a couple of ways to look at this jersey and there's one way, which is the look of it on its own. I'm not a big fan of black jerseys in general. You'd know that if you've listened to this podcast even once before, honestly, I think it's probably come up on nearly every episode now. Um, but, you know, it is necessary context to give for somebody who may be listening to this for the first time. If you are, hello and welcome. Um, so this welcome jersey, to the you know. Of course. Huh? Justin Bieber brought you. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyways, this jersey, you know, already loses some points with me on that. Um, I would find black jerseys to be just very boring and drab compared to you know a bright vibrant color like a blue or a red or so on yellow for example so there's you know some black jerseys that i like of course the penguins home jerseys are a good example because they have a lot of a big pop of color these ones have color and they have a decent amount of it but as you know you guys said the problem is you go you know 20 feet away you watch it on tv or you watch it you know from the stands you're not gonna be able to see a lot of contrast there and I would argue that that's the most important because that's when the most people are going to see the jersey. Um, so it's absolutely a failure on that part. And I, honestly, I think it's the worst jersey in Maple Leafs history. They don't have a lot of competition there because they've had a very good, you know, jersey history. The, you know, couple that Will mentioned in his article that he wrote for us um, were the reverse retro. And what was the other one? Oh, the recent Heritage Classic one. I vehemently mm -hmm. disagree on both of those. Um, the reverse retro was mediocre at worst i think um fill in those numbers and the logo instead of the outlines and i think you've got something decent and you know last episode we went over it i love the heritage classic one um but the real place that this jersey shines is all of the other things that it does the pattern in between the sleeves the pattern in the logo you know just the different things it's tried and of course the reversible aspect of it and you know being a collaboration with one of the biggest names in music right now bieber um he's at the game he's wearing it you guys have said it you know if there's anything you can do to get people in to, interested in the game you should do it go ahead, go ahead. what i was just, i was just saying do it as an assistant to you oh, saying do it yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> and nice. this reversible thing is something that nobody's done before I always love seeing innovation, even if the execution isn't great. The reversible part executed is great. Like, the numbers yeah. being an outline on the front, or, you know, on the leaf side, the inside. looks bad. But the fact that it mirrors the inside being the stitching outline is a really cool detail that I think, I don't know if I've heard mm -hmm. anybody else mention. Um, and I don't necessarily know if I'd, 
actually sacrifice the readability yeah. for it, but it's cool that it is there. Um, yeah. So overall, um, again, I think Will in his article summed it up really well. I was looking for this quote for a while. Aesthetically gross, but conceptually interesting. That's about exactly, <laughs> if I had to describe this jersey in five words, that's about it. And I think they executed all of the new things that they tried really well with these patterns and especially the reversible part. But God, the leaf side especially just looks gross. I think it's really interesting too. The two two big takeaways I had on the on the on the reversible side is one, I saw some game photos of like Bieber and his entourage or friends or whatever you want to term it, um, and he had actually the inside customized rather than yeah, that, that's like, right. Like like with the players and all, like people are saying it's the stitching, so the numbers are backwards, and the name bar I would assume is just a rectangle on the inside. But Bieber had you know a six on it on the bag, and I think it was like a gold six of memory serves correctly. Um, so it was interesting to see that. I imagine that's just kind of like a, a one one and done Bieber thing, and like not going to be an option to like customize the inside instead of the outside. But that would be you know cool. And the second thing is with the the two stripes on the arm and one stripe on the hem in the color palette they've basically you know made a different thickness based Bruins 2016 Winter Classic jersey which I just think is you know funny given the context of the Leafs Bruins rivalry or lack thereof depending on what you call it um, so it's just, for a second you can kind of see the customization there, yeah right? that's not the view that I thought it was I'm gonna look for a better one mm-hmm. I, I think if I think if you go for a longer like there's a longer video of that same view. I'm just scrolling mm-hmm. through the Leafs Twitter from that night because I could have sworn oh, I've seen it there somewhere. Um, but yeah, I think it's I think it's really cool. Um, I think the, you know there can be some questions on the execution and the actual you know final look of it. But I I know I'm always a fan of of trying something. I'm you know I'm much happier that they did this rather than you know just putting you know uh, another blue jersey with a leaf on it and calling it a day kind of thing. Um, because at that point, why? Would this jersey, um, how much would this jersey be improved if they swapped the blue and the black? Aside that's from what the I, stuff? I think it would be a downgrade, to be honest. Really? Weirdly, yeah. I don't know. I think I think there's something about having a lighter color on a darker background that is more attractive to me than having, you know, a darker um, a darker accent on a lighter background. Um, but I'd hmm. I'd be interested to see it. Um, but you know, I'd I mean, isn't that literally all white it's jerseys a, good... a darker accent on a lighter background? Fair. I guess when it's when it's like lower contrast kind of thing, because it's like there's already a contrast problem that, I don't know, I feel like for some reason it would be muddier um, with light on dark or yeah, dark on light. I, I think it would be an improvement, but I mean, it wouldn't be an improvement on the contrast front, I don't think, but it would right. be, you'd at least see blue color instead of, you know, black nothingness. Yeah. And also, if you do it across the board, then you have a black maple leaf, like maple leaf logo, which seems even more well, sacrilegious. Than it, a... it, it would stay the same since it's in the tie dye thing, like the inner stripe and the. That's true. I guess if you go to tie dye, same yeah. as tie dye. Interesting. What if the whole I... jersey was tie dye? Oh, that could either go really well or really terribly, depending on how you execute. I think it. that gets too far into. I think that gets too far into gimmicky to me. I mean, like, if you just explain the concept behind so many jerseys, like a black Maple Leafs jersey with blue on it that has, you know, some tie-dye and sublimation elements that also is reversible in a collaboration with a large pop star, that could go really well or really bad depending on how you execute Mm -hmm. it, you know? And this one's Mm -hmm. kind of, you know, it's bad in one area and not so good in another, and really good in another, so. I think... Go ahead. I think think a lot of people... Uh, myself included, are like giving reversible, reversible aspect maybe a bit too much credit since that'll never be seen in game. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like, well, really I cool. think if you just said like a reversible NHL jersey, I think you could do get a lot more excited than this. Like a lot, like it's good for it's supposed to be for a first attempt. But I feel like if it was a team like I don't know, the Wild or Golden Knights doing that. Mm-hmm. I feel like people would maybe look better. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like a storied team like the Leafs being the team to you know experiment definitely feels weird. 
Um, yeah. thing I will say on the reversible aspect that I think they did really well was that for the three star presentation, they had them come out in the, well, yeah, I don't know if it was really cool. team decision or the players themselves or whatever, but it was super cool to see them, you know, come back out on the ice wearing the inverted version. I think that was wherever that came from. That was an excellent touch. I thought I've heard a bit too about that. They might do that during warmups sometimes like where the reversible side, That'd be cool. which yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, I feel um, like that could be really cool too for for like it would be a whole nother like hurdle but like for specialty warm-up jerseys and stuff so what, what if they thinking, were but inside of that worth it usually like, that would be wild that would be wild but it's probably not worth it for you know manufacturing yeah although um, oh, back but... to the customization thing how cool would it be if you could flip the jersey it over and like say your two favorite players are matthews and marner get marner on one side and matthews that. on the other I'm feeling, ma- and then just, you know, you go to your cloth and I wear my jersey today. I'm feeling, you know, Marner had a good game yesterday. I'm feeling that, and I'm just flip the jersey inside out. Or one of them was playing, like, dog water. And, like, in the second period, you're like, okay, maybe maybe I don't need to be. <laughs> like, if you're wearing a Corey Perry jersey to the 2020 Winter Classic and he gets ejected, and it's like, okay, maybe maybe we do the other guy. <laughs> He's looked at it, and it's like the Nashville Roman Yossi jersey. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Honestly, that's the way to do those Frankenstein jerseys half and half. Don't split them externally down the middle. Do an inside and an outside thing. Yes, yes. We have now, found the solution. Th- there's going to be a different technology that needs to be used to make something like this. Um, but, you know, the All-Star Games is two different jerseys. Just make them reversible. So that way the players yeah. flip their jersey inside out whenever they need to switch teams. That'd be pretty. But like, it's I definitely would... going to be a different technology to make the inside and the outside of the jersey different colors. This one works the way it right. does it because they're, it's black on both sides. Justin, right. going back to your point, didn't the NBA? I, I like this was an in-game, or really, like, but then they do a jersey where you can change the number like on the spot. Like it was just for like a one-off mm-hmm. like technology thing. I remember so, seeing that. Now. It was either Will who put it in his article or like Chris Creamer in his article. I thought somewhere, yeah, I hadn't heard of that until now. And it was, I don't know if that was just a gimmick or if that was actually a thing. But he I think that's a gimmick because like there's no way you could. Michael Jordan. Yeah, unless you have like a thick electronics that works. Huh. Maybe not thick, but yeah, it was really weird and neat. But Wild. Yeah. I hadn't heard of that. That's crazy. I guess it would be more feasible if it was like. LeBron James to Michael Jordan. That way, all you had to do was the nameplate. But yeah, that's fair. Well, folks, anything else on the the Leaf jersey before we get into the next segment here? Better than the Canadians for I'm good. Let's do it. Oh, that's hot. That's, that's a very hot take. And right. I well, vehemently disagree. With that are... I also <laughs> don't agree with that take. That was mostly a joke. Let's move on. Speaking okay. of hot takes that are you know, one jersey being better than the other and maybe in a questionable way. We're going to try something new here. Um, so this is a segment and or game and or whatever that I have decided to call Convince Me. Um, so the whole idea here is, you know, we have a lot of jersey opinions. Um, and, you know, a lot of them are very, like, standard and unwavering for the most part. You know, Beepo hates black jerseys. I mostly feel the same. Um, stuff like that. So it can get a little boring. Um, to talk about our opinions on jerseys all the time. And it's like, oh, look at this black jersey. I don't like it because I don't like black jerseys. So we're going to do something a little different. Um, and we are going to have to pitch um, certain NHL jersey designs to each other um, and convince um, each other that one is better than the other. Um, so what we are doing here is taking every black jersey in NHL history. Um, to my account, setting this up, there are 62 unique um, black jersey uniform, whatever you want to call them, looks in NHL history. Um, For those you know, some you watching, teams... I'm just gonna flip through all of them now because Justin made me. Yeah. So some record. teams like the Ducks have have quite a few. Some teams have none. You know, there's never been a black uh, Seattle Kraken jersey, for example. Obviously, that one's really, really obvious. But I was gonna say there's never been a black. Jersey. There you go. Um, so we're going to spin a massive wheel um, that you know sets us up with with each of us having one of these jerseys. So one of us will be a judge, and then the other two will have to um, defend their randomly assigned jersey um, and pitch it to the judge and convince them why it is better than their competing jersey. Um, So hopefully this should generate some, you know, unique takes, maybe some heated and wild discussion, 
um, and overall just something new and fresh. Um, so we're going to do it for as long as feels fun. Um, and then we'll move on to our next thing. But this is our first ever installment of Convince Me on the Jersey Nerds podcast. Anything else to add, guys, before we jump into it? Uh, we don't have a jingle for this. Da da da, convince me. Da da da. <laughs> there we go. We did. Um, just to clarify again, because I didn't uh, hear everything. Are we flipping or like rotating through who's the judge, or is it just me every time? No, we'll rotate. We'll okay. Rotate. I wasn't sure if we were doing that because we also have a couple of other things coming up that in which, well, you know, we'll, we'll do one of us basically more game shows, or something so to speak. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So more I have the wheel here on a second fun. screen that is not hooked up for reference images, so you guys are just going to have to trust me. I guess I'll be the host wow. first, or be the judge first. Sure, go for it. And okay, who gets the first jersey? You need to decide that before you spin it. Burke is Justin, the first. Okay, oh. I get the first one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, I get the first one. What's the first Spin one? that wheel. Uh -oh. <laughs> the wheel not work? No, it's not that. It's just that you're the wheel first have a, one. Does, is... It's the Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's pulling it up. Oh, I thought it was. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, I'm All right. good about my chance. And spinning the wheel for the second one. Justin, do you want the first one? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Ooh, this one's going to be interesting. Oh, no. And actually, this is a kind of funny... Uh... Oh, I think I see here what you guys were talking about before the show. Yes. All right. <laughs> so you want to explain the photo there, Justin? Yeah. So, so like I said, there's 62 different unique... Um, jerseys, black jerseys in NHL history. Um, there are some that are, you know, rehashes or, you know, similar enough that it's not worth, you know, considering them as two different jerseys. One such is the Blackhawks new, well, not so new anymore, um, but alternate based off their 2017, was it? 2018? Um, winter jersey. Um, so that's why this one shows up as a, you know, 1927 to 34 um label here even though obviously it's a modern adidas jersey um, but that is when these were the primary um, was the primary jersey for the blackhawks so that is why um we see it um here um with an adidas picture with a weird tagline so that'll happen you know maybe two or three times um with some you know really retro jerseys that got picked up again recently just because the you know, modern photos are a lot higher quality, um, so it gives us a better look at the, the jersey itself than a grainy old 1920s picture would give. So that's just a little precursor there. Um, Burkus, would you like to start, or would you like me to um, defend my jersey or pitch it while you work on, you know, gleaning any positive out of that one? You know what? I'll, I'll do it. Uh, All right. I think that this is not only better than the Blackhawks. I think this is the best black jersey in NHL history, and here's why. Um, <laughs> Jesus, you know you're how... going nuclear with this thing, aren't you? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know how you guys like color? Well, guess what that jersey doesn't have? And that is any color whatsoever. It is black yeah. and it is white. A colorblind person would see that jersey no differently than you and I. Um, it also has a very racist logo. And racism is bad. No. <laughs> <laughs> racism is bad. Burkus Circus 2022. No. <laughs> I can't argue with that. I can see. <laughs> you know, that jersey, he's racist. On the other hand, this has a very good logo because it has the hidden thingy of the North Carolina in the mm -hmm. between the state flags, which is very neat. And it corrects the previous alternate. It only had one flag, which is only a tropical storm. And this is an actual freaking hurricane. Uh, also, the weathering pattern is cool. It makes sense for a team like the Hurricanes, where they are weather. <laughs> and yeah uh it also doesn't have it also wasn't copied by the new jersey devils and made worse so it wasn't it has it had its reputation tarnished by pk suban if this jersey is so bad how could it be tarnished if it was already bottom of the barrel you can't get worse 
And you know what is really important? I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's the best, the worst jersey in the NHL in black. There you go. Uh, but but you're, is, but you're, it is the second worst behind the New Jersey Devils. And you know what's really cool about this jersey? A colorblind yeah. person would see it exactly the same way. And isn't accessibility important in today's world? Is we don't need these, a... these jerseys that certain people see as red and other people don't. We need, you know, clean black and white, no arguments, no gray area, no gray shoulder yoke, for that matter. Um, jerseys here confusing people. You know, is it black? Is it gray? Is it blue and gold? Is it blue and black? Whatever. We don't need this nonsense. And you know what? A team called the Blackhawks, black jersey, makes sense. I don't remember the Black Hurricanes. Doesn't make any sense. Hurricanes are red. Everybody knows that. Come on. Yeah, because um, they're filled with the blood of sharks. Oh, no. Yeah. Sharknado. I don't want helping you here. <laughs> <laughs> right? And everyone knows that imitation is the highest form of flattery. So if not one, but two teams have now used the look in the modern NHL where we're being as, you know, as experimental as we can and doing reversible jerseys, obviously it's got to be pretty darn great. And, you know, it's... Sometimes you wear a jersey in an outdoor yeah, but game. Yeah, team, the team that copied it had to put jersey on the front so you knew what it was. It's that bad. <laughs> I love it. If it was that bad, they wouldn't have worn it again. They had it slated as a one-game jersey in the Winter Classic, and we've now seen it for years to date. So, so clearly have they we worn can... it this season? This is a legit question outside of the debate. Have they worn it this season? I think so. I don't know. I don't follow them. Yeah. Uh, also... You can't convince me the logo's racist because his glove is covering it the picture, so the logo could be anything. Who knows? Who knows what it is? <laughs> Maybe it's a penguin. It's, Schroding, it's Schrodinger's logo. It could be. It could be not. I don't know. It would be racist. It could be fine. Who knows? Well, Mr. Schrodinger's Honorable, racism. Oh, what do we what do we feel here? Have we convinced you? Have we changed remember, your mind? Remember that racism is bad. No, no, no. You're a judge. In the United States, that does not matter to you. <laughs> this has been well established by the American legal system. Sorry, <laughs> still going completely terrible. Welcome to the Jersey Nerds Politics Cast. I love it. <laughs> am I judging Politics which nerd. jersey I like better still, regardless, or am I judging which one of you guys? No, is better I argument? would say suspend your judgment you are these this is the first time you have seen either of these we are a marketing team pitching you each of these jerseys which would you have your team wear kind of thing so basically it's which of you guys had a better argument i mean there's definitely some room for like personal opinion so like if 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 this was the first time that you had seen both of these including you know your opinion of seeing them right now but if you just interacted them in the context of what just happened you know, what, what is the more compelling thing to you at the moment? I mean, it's it's kind of tough to take me away from that Blackhawks jersey, but I think Burke has had a really good argument and pulled basically every positive out of that jersey that you could and tried to bring racism into it as well, which, <laughs> you know. <laughs> if you ignore that racist logo, I think the Blackhawks jersey is better in nearly every way. <laughs> There we go. So uh, B post have the color red. B post favorite jersey in NFL history, the Carolina Hurricanes current alternate takes takes the cake this time. Um, so since since Burke is one round run, we'll make him judge and give me a chance to try and catch up here, um, and yeah, then we'll get our score? second match. Huh? No, not at all. Okay, but I had to pick not. a judge, so it so. seemed it seemed good to have That's him be Burke. You wanted to. Just... Do we want to just always do whoever wins becomes the next judge? I think we can rotate it that way everyone's playing. Like, if, if I'm really okay. bad at convincing people, I don't want to make people listen to me all the time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Spin the wheel. All right. Be honest. Fun fact for those two jerseys, they were 22 and 23 on the spreadsheet. There you go. Wow. Wow. In... So I'll give you the first jersey this time as well. All right. In corner number one. In this corner from... Anaheim, California. It's that jersey. Yeah. Anaheim, Anaheim Ducks, 2006-14. The cup winning look with the ducks across the front. The word ducks, not like multiple ducks. Ducks fly together. Ducks don't fly. Black, Mr. Ducks and work. in the other corner, the Leafs reverse. I mean, 
I love <laughs> Man, how funny would it have been if the, that Leaf jersey went up against this one? Right. That'd be, the, yeah. floor, the floor is yours unless you'd like me to go first. If you would like to go first, you may. All right. And scene. All right. So, you know the best three things in the world? Bears, Beats, Battlestar Galactica. This doesn't have all three, but it's got one. It's got a bear. That's pretty cool. You know what else is cool? Color. This has yellow. This has brown. Those are two colors. Yeah. Um, we just talked about imitation, highest form of flattery. You know what this imitated? This. Do you know what imitates this? Words, English. Yeah. Um, the Leafs reverse retro. If the Leafs who hate the Bruins so much, not reverse retro. What am I saying? The Leafs knew all. It is reversible. Reverse. That's the one. Um, if they hate the Bruins so much and have this big rivalry, why would they wear a Bruins jersey? Because it looks so darn good. Are you kidding me? There's a bear on there. It looks kind of dopey, kind of cute. We like that. Um, there's, you know, two stripes, one, two on the sleeves, one on the bottom. It's really nice to have, you know, numbers in the, in, the, in, the, in the stripes on the sleeves. It tells you where to look. It says, hey, the numbers are here. This is who I am. I'm too crack. Look at me. Um, I am the captain now. Um, again, he's a goalie. Here. He can't be captain. Yeah. Well, he can try. Um, you can't tell Puka Rat. Oh, no, you kidding me? Um, again, That's these jerseys worn worn an outdoor game. Brad Brack is an alternate because they are just that attractive. I mean, come on, who who doesn't love a sharp dressed man with a bear on his chest? Um, you know, I really, you know, sometimes I forget how to spell the word Boston. Um, so it's really nice the reminder that you know the letter B and N are both in there. I'm not quite sure what's in the middle, but it's really nice to have those kind of guideposts of you know here's the start, here's the finish. Um, so that's really nice to me. Um, rectangles are a lot of fun. So it's nice to have a team name in a rectangle. It's kind of like how the, the players have their name in a rectangle on the back. The bear gets to have his name on the front in a rectangle. And it's really, really nice to the bear. And like I said, he's kind of dopey. So kind of maybe he needs that self-esteem boost of like, yeah, people know who I am. I'm ruined kind of thing. Um, whereas, you know, ducks are ducks. I mean, if, if, if I had in my room, if I had... If I had with me a bear and Beepo had a duck with him, who do you think is going to win? I rest my case. Beepo? No. This jersey may have a couple of things going for it, one of them being a bright yellow color. <laughs> but, and by that I meant the Bruins one, um, but this one is in a whole league of its own. This one, not only does it have a, poop league, a yellow, a it's a different poop. yellow, it's a softer yellow, it's easier on the eyes, but it has an orange, and it's a bright orange, but it's used a lot more minimally, which means it pops a lot more. You see, it, it stands out to the eyes a lot more. The And, you know, the Bruins one, it may, you know, help you out in spelling Boston and Bruins. But hey, <laughs> some you know, I think Boston and Bruins are a little bit easier to spell than Anaheim. And whenever I forget how to spell that, you, all you got to do is take a look down at your chest if you're wearing it. And you there it is, Anaheim. It's so and small. You need if a you microphone. forget how to say ducks, it's right there. Now, this crest, you know, some people aren't a big fan of it because it's a full word mark, but even if it's not, it has on the chest, um, the first letter D is the D, it's a webbed foot, the team is the Ducks, and it makes the letter D for Ducks, and it's their current primary logo, wow. which a lot of people don't like, but personally, I think it's a really nice logo, you know, um, and also, that Bruins one. The marquee game that it was worn in, the 2016 Winter Classic, guess what happened? The Montreal Canadiens kicked their asses 5-1. to one. And guess what? The Anaheim Ducks jersey, it was unveiled in 2006. You know what they did as soon as they unveiled it the first season? They went and won the fucking Stanley Cup with it, right? Bruins never won got the Stanley Cup in that jersey, that. did they? <clears throat> what did you say, Justin? I said, and then they got rid of it because it was that bad. They didn't get the rid of it. They got rid of it. The Capitals won the Stanley Cup in their current ones, and they've kept them. Imagine how bad a jersey must be to get rid of it after winning a cup in it. Well, technically, the Capitals won the Stanley Cup in 2018. It has been four years since then. The Anaheim Ducks won the cup in 2006. No, sorry, 2007. Four years after that, 2011, they were still wearing it. No. So. But no. they introduced another one to replace it already. So, gabagool. <laughs> Yeah, but are the Bruins even still wearing this one? I don't think so. They, they, if that jersey was so good, why would they have gotten rid of that one? Because the Bears were killed by hunters. Oh, no. No, they weren't killed by hunters. <laughs> they were killed by ducks. 
giant duck what? stomping on them. <laughs> You'd rather <laughs> fight one bear-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized bears? <laughs> duck-sized bears, easy. No question. Well, Berkus, what'll it be? Mustard or ketchup? <laughs> ketchup, that's the obvious answer. Um, yeah, true. But... I honestly don't know. You know what else? Is cool? <laughs> you know what else is cool about the Ducks one, the Bruins one. You yeah. know, how many hockey jerseys have you seen with an, a stripe straight across the arms of the hem? The Ducks one. Oh, those are curvy. That's did you see? Like. Oh, people tried to say something positive about the Ducks one, and then he had to mention the Bruins one because he was on the train of thought, thought of what is cool. He said, "You know what's cool about the Ducks one? The Bruins one." That's a direct quote. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I remain incredibly game. apathetic towards both of these jerseys. Uh, well, that's the point. We're supposed I to guess here. probably Justin, maybe. Wow. Or <laughs> just because I I've been on a record of not liking that Bruins jersey and thinking it's overrated, and I think the Ducks one is underrated. And Justin started flipping me on that. I like it. I like Which it. Which kind of is a disadvantage against Beepo because I already did really like that Ducks jersey. But... Where are you going to go? Hey, that's that's the game. I like it. We'll take it. Well, I'm going to be the judge because I'm actually going to make a decision on like Burkas. And yeah. <laughs> that... <laughs> so we'll give we'll give yes. Brendan the first jersey. Yeah. Beepo gets the first spinny. In the Pittsburgh corner. From City in the NHL. It's I'm Jersey. It's different this time and spin both wheels first. And then Ooh, I have two one wheels? One. Well, it's the same wheel. I'm just spinning it twice. Are you oh. eliminated that we've done already? I am. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, this is an interesting matchup in corner number right. one. In Beepo's corner. In Beepo's corner. Just be in a corner. Just do. Dallas Stars, oh, 1993 yeah. to 1999. And in Berkus's corner, Ottawa Senators, 2000 oh. to 2007. Look at all that gold. There's a lot of gold. I like okay. it. Beepo, would you like to go first? Sure. Why not, since I didn't last time. Now, this jersey. And I did. And I did. You did. <laughs> This jersey. It's a jersey, all right. So, mm. for the Dallas Stars. Beepo wins. Done. <laughs> Dang it. I'm convinced it is a jersey. <laughs> this is indeed a jersey. The Dallas Stars wore from 1993 to 1999. Now, it's very large wow. and black and large. There's a lot of... <laughs> We're talking I meant about to the say. jersey here. Right? <laughs> okay, but before say. we do that... Outside of the jerseys, can we take a moment to appreciate the awesome mullet on that man? It's a terrifying picture. <laughs> Darian Hatcher is a very... I think that's Darian Hatcher. It's a very scary... <laughs> Justin would know. He's a Stars fan. Okay, continue, Bebo. What I meant to say was that there are very large areas of black on this jersey. However, what you see on the front is a star because they're Dallas. Mm. But not only is it a star... It is a golden star, and it may be a black jersey, but they took advantage of that by making the star and the word stars stand out very bright with a shiny metallic gold. And you know what else shines in the sky in the, on a dark background? A star, right? Oh, my oh. bad. <laughs> what did you say? I said feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Severed feet. <laughs> they just fly in I'm the not sky even going to pretend to understand that one. <laughs> Me neither. If you like feet, feet though, you know what? If you like feet, though, you know what? The people who wear these jerseys, guess what they have? Feet. Hands. Oh, my bad. When you wish upon a feet. Another makes no difference. The jersey's got going feet. for it is it's bright <laughs> white stripes <laughs> as well. Now, you know. Whenever you're making a jersey, you need a lot of contrast. These white, this white, how much more contrast can you get than that? Black and white. Um, the not the stripes on the side also cut off for the number. It makes some room for the numbers. How kind of it, right? Um, you yes. know, 
how Good. kind to just make room for that. Um, and also, let's say you're not a big fan of black. You know what else this jersey has on it? Some green. And you know what? It Does also it led way to been... a green jersey. So if you're really not a fan mm-hmm. of black, hey, you've got something to look forward to right there. <laughs> Foreshadowing. <laughs> I love it. All right. Am I good to go? And you know what happened the no. year before they oh. before they used these jerseys? They won the Stanley Cup. Or no, they went to the Stanley Cup Finals. So they had good luck already yeah, they in won. these jerseys. They won the Cup in these or, jerseys. No, sorry, two years ago. Two years before that. 1991, Penguins and Minnesota North Stars. Sure. I mean, they won the Cup in 99, which is an even better argument, but we'll leave they, that for later. they wearing the green ones, though? They no, were the, wearing the, the green stars. And you know what? what? Yeah. The green That's one another wrong. reason why not only is the Ottawa Senators jersey better than the Stars jersey, it is the best black jersey in NHL history. <laughs> yeah. uh, wait, it wasn't the Hurricanes. <laughs> not only that, uh, this star, this Senators jersey has actual color that is visible. You know how we were just talking about how that Maple Leafs jersey, you can't see it from a broadcast angle, the different colors. You can't even see the green on this in this picture. This isn't a broadcast angle. This is a normal picture of a guy standing there. Very mm. neat face. Um, you know how you say that it's fun to have shiny gold? Guess what this center's jersey has? Shiny gold and more shiny gold than your jersey does. Uh, it it kind of sucks how little you gold your jersey has. Um, anyways, uh, you know how the white is too high contrast? Guess what? It's also too high contrast. This one knows how much white to put in just a little bit just a smidge and it has a fun cool pattern in it that mop that reflects the logo in the jersey and you know ties the brand all together that logo low key a bit creepy but <laughs> it does. you know what's not creepy a star it's just five points might i remind but you it that goes this logo a scared logo. me as a child do you really want to vote for something justin that scares children well, you scare children. You know what, else, you know what else scares children? Fire. You know, stars are burning balls of gas. That sounds like a fire to me. I thought Anyways. you were about to say, you know what else scares children? Darian Hatcher. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Anyways, this jersey has a bunch of red, which is really fun. Because red, fun fact, in most like early languages, the first three colors to develop are black, white, and red. Red's the third most important color, therefore. There's a lot of it on this jersey. Um, and, yeah. You're it's boring me, nerd. But you know what are the most important jersey. colors? Black and white. And you know what my jersey has a lot of? Black and white. Well, guess what well, mine does, too. And but you just said the jersey is better. white uh, a lot more. Uh, <laughs> what's it uses called? them Conservatively. better. Yeah. Mine has a lot of white. Conservatively. Because it knows better. it's an important color. Uh, and, yeah. Well, it The... Jersey is better. Mine is. It has better font. Yours has a boring block font. Mine is a block font with curves. Mm. Well, you both made compelling arguments, but I think I'm going to have to give it to the team that starts with an S. Senators. Oh, wait. Hold on. That didn't help. Uh... <laughs> oh, wait. I have one more oh, argument. I thought that was, you know thought that was the joke, <laughs> that they both start with an S. <laughs> I have one That's more argument. Was, you know how your jersey has feet? Guess what the Stars did? They cheated with their feet. The Sabres deserve that cup. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you're telling that to a Stars fan. Very yeah, good point. What? I was gonna, I was gonna pick the Senators, but just because of that beautiful tie-in with the feet being specific to the Stars, I'm gonna give it to the Stars. So Fergus no. just cured himself. So Did you actually, were you actually gonna give it to the Senators? I was. I will no. pick the, the Stars '93 to '99 jersey as the I winner. I doomed myself. <laughs> Doom. All righty, shall we uh, round do one. it again, boys? Uh, yeah. Berkus, do you have a time limit here? Because I'm down to do it again if we, you know, have time to get. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Let's go. Let's, let's do another round. All right. Let's do it. Way I'll through. be the judge again. Uh, we'll just go. Sounds again. good. You're the judge. Oh, well. send me free. <laughs> now we're gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> no, as long as we're under thirty seconds, I think we're fine. Na 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 na. Oh. I'll you. Thirty. I'm going to pull an audible and pick both of these jerseys. Well, pick one of them. No. 
No. No. Trust me. <clears throat> if if I, one I of them is the flying them, V, I call dibs. I spun one of them, and the other one I'm going to pick. So in corner number one, or I guess kind of corner number two, who, 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 who is, who who is, is this one? Justin's corner number one. All right. All right. Corner number one. All right. And in corner number two. I see where two, this is going. All right. Should I should I re-roll the second one, which which is the Islanders blue and gray one, or should I just let you guys fight the Islanders blue I, or black jerseys? I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here I'm, for I'm it. I'm down. All right. And I've got to be honest, I did like and dislike each of these for their own reasons. So this one, you guys might actually be able to win me over a bit more. I'm not gonna have a preconceived mm -hmm. notion going into it. So okay, I like it. Proceed. I like it. Okay. Uh, I went first last time, so Justin, you want to go first? All right, I can do it. You know what we like? We like jerseys that are forward-thinking. You know what? You know what's really boring? Jerseys with an arch board mark like any college team and numbers. We saw how bad that was for the Stars. Um, you know what's boring? A Reebok collar when you've been doing Reebok collars for, you know, four years already. You know what's cool? An Adidas collar before Adidas even has hockey jerseys. That's really exciting. We see that. We see that, you know, it's cool tying into the local city. You know, we're both Penguins fans, you know, Penguins, Pittsburgh is, is very in on the black and gold across the board. And, you know, Brooklyn was very in on the, the black and white across the board. So you have to tie into to the local teams there. You know, you have the clean look of, of black and white. Um, it's a lot cooler to have a logo than to not have a logo. Um, so, you know, having an NY and, you know, for those not watching the video feed, we should probably say what these jerseys are now that I think about it. Um, so I am talking about the um, New York Islanders black alternate um, and Burgess will be talking about the New York Islanders black alternate. Um, let me the add twist some is... <laughs> a twist. There's a twist. <laughs> I am talking about the very nice Brooklyn um, black alternate from 2015 to 2017. And Burkus is talking about the horrendously awful um, gray and blue and orange and Islanders wordmark and blue equipment alternate from 2011 to 2014. That's another point. You know what a black jersey needs? Some, you know, really good grounding with some black equipment as well. It shows you that it's, it's straight to the point it knows who it is. You know, it's not, it's not messing around. It's not, you know, trying to dilute um, you know, the the identity that is a black and white Islanders jersey or even a black Islanders jersey with any other, you know, colors or any weird, you know, inconsistencies like that of having other colors. Um, so we have a very, you know, true to the core black and white Islanders jersey. Um, again, we talked about how good jerseys are picked up by other teams. The Moose Jaw Warriors use this template um, to this day, as far as I'm aware. Um, so clearly they've recognized um, the potential here and, you know, how good of a jersey this is, whereas no one, to my knowledge, has ever done a, you know, weird, gray yoked, whoopy jersey, whatever. And we know we hate, you know, black jerseys with gray yokes, cough, cough, Carolina, um, and that all of them are overweight, overrated and need to die, um, quite frankly. And that's something we've very clearly well established. So unless people you want to perjure yourself um and change your opinion on black jerseys here on this very judicious podcast um i think there's you know there's only one choice that is clear to be honest you're done sorry i almost fell asleep there no you're done <laughs> <laughs> man you're man. done not only is this is this islanders jersey the one from 2011 to 2014 better than the 2015 to 2017 Islanders. Is he? It is the best black NHL jersey ever. Oh my God. <laughs> the reason for the this no, jersey, I know he's tortured himself. Like, like the Maple Leafs jersey we were talking about at the beginning of this, this episode innovates, and what does it innovate on? It has the diamond pattern connecting the sides to the pants, which is freaking awesome. No jersey has done that since. It is a thing entirely unique to this jersey. Plenty of teams have done really shitty black and white jerseys. This jersey is unique. And you're talking about so how it was so this... good that it was so good that no team ever did it again. Is that what I'm hearing? 
Uh, I just no. want to make sure I'm, you I'm know getting what, this. You know what other jersey everyone loves? The Fisherman. You know what color did Fisherman jersey had? Gray. So it's actually a tie-in with the brand history. <laughs> Get wrecked. This jersey dismisses all of the Islanders' brand history without a second thought. It's just black and white. There is no orange. There is no blue. There is technically a tiny bit of orange I just remembered. But you know what? It's so insignificant, I forgot it completely. Now, this Islanders jersey, does it go with a controversial take to do the Islanders thing over the number? Yes. That is a bit controversial, and I will admit that. However, this, your jersey, has, does a controversial take of not having any visible arm striping. It's just big, tiny, white, black lines that you can't see from a distance more than 20 feet. It's really bad. Jersey, so maybe it's for the best. That's well, I don't want to <laughs> see your jersey anymore because it's just stupid and black and white. And also Reebok colors collars are better than Adidas collars. And this jersey, yeah, I just really like it. I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty neat. Uh, also, this one has actual shoulder patches. Did you just trash a memorial patch for a person who died yep <laughs> <laughs> if that's if that's the level you're willing to go to i'll, I'll let you go there Perkis, what, what's no, up with you seriously, and disrespecting I'll... dead people <laughs> but there's the r.i.p to the whoever al is r.i.p to eugene my oh, man uh <laughs> i've never disrespected your name <laughs> Certainly not in the past 24 hours anyway. I don't know if uh, yeah, this... you guys convinced me in any sense. Colors are neat. I like colors. I have absolutely no idea because neither of you guys convinced me one way or the other, I must admit. <laughs> are you sitting on a fence, people? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Back to the olden days. I would never. How could? How dare you be indecisive and have any hesitation whatsoever on right. which jersey to pick in this game? Who would do such a thing? Hear me out. Which logo is still used on their current alternate? Hear me out. Neither of them, because that jersey had that one's had to be improved because it sucks, and the new one's better because the old one sucks. Is that not the same one, though, actually? <laughs> That's what I was trying to figure out, too. I was going to say, I thought that was actually the same one. No, the other one has a stick blade that's parallel to the NY. I was say, yeah, I instead thought of that being one has at a the weird, funky one. angle. No, no, it, no, doesn't. no, no, no it doesn't. That one's okay. just old and funky and angle. bad and sad. And uh, the tape went from like the neck of the stick to the blade. Which is better. Remember, this one has... The, the, it has the, color. The 2015 one also has like the B patches on like the the hem, like, like on each side. And no one cares. We love the letter B, <laughs> as as we have made very apparent in the Discord. So B B, the B good before it was cool. Jersey with a B on it. I was going to uh, say. I think. Oh, Burkis, you got one more thing to add first. Yeah, it's that Watch the color my room victory, yeah. is neat. Because the color ha arm bits look next, so it's not stupid like Justin claimed. Also, when I see B when I see Burkus's jersey, all I think is Islander. I hardly know her. When I see mine, I think that's a hockey. Team. You know, when I see Justin's jersey, all I think is and Wire. I hardly know her. <laughs> when I see mine, I think John Tavares is definitely still a New York Islander. I definitely intentionally picked a Tavares photo, and then I also picked as many Jeff Carter reference photos as I could as well. I hate you. <laughs> Jeff Carter is a little bitch. Whoa. Are you going to take think... that? Are you going to give the victory to someone who just slandered big Jeff Carter? Well, I was going to say before you guys went into whatever that was that, you know, I think I'll pull the Justin and take a little bit of an arbitrary thing. And uh, <laughs> considering that Burkus has now disrespected the dead and Jeff Carter, 
Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go for the 2015 to 17. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I'm okay with losing a million points if it means I can say fuck Jeff Carter on a podcast listened to oh. by at least 10 people. Whoa. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. In case I didn't make it clear, Jeff Carter is dead to me. Like so you just suspected guy. the dead again? <laughs> I mean, I sure did by comparing him to Jeff Carter, and to which I say, I'm sorry, Eugene and whoever AL is. Uh, I, I shouldn't have done that to you and compare you to Jeff Carter in any capacity. No one deserves that, except for Jeff Carter. <laughs> Please, Chris. That so reminds me of the TikTok audio. Like, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy, except for Gwyneth Paltrow. You know what she did. So who's the next judge? Burkus, right? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly isn't Jeff Carter. Fuck him. <laughs> so. I have my arm lower because my camera is weird. There it is. He's got the two next jerseys in line. Justin, pick a number between one and two. Between what? Between one and two. 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 Of two. Justin, then, I guess your jersey is. You guess. I thought it was the Islanders one again. No, I don't know why. Whenever I pop the image up, it shows the old one for half a second. And in my corner, we've got number one right. on the slideshow. All right. The first black jersey in NHL. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> so, since you went first last time, I guess I'll go first this time. Go for it. Now. Here is why I'm going to argue that this jersey, the first black jersey in NHL history, according to this slideshow that Justin prepared for me, is the best black jersey in NHL history. <laughs> Good. So, we were talking about this a little bit earlier, right? How, you know, Boston's old jersey, it says Boston and Bruins, in case you spell it, will get or forget how to spell it, and so did the Anaheim one. But guess what? So does this Anaheim one. You forget what city they play in, Anaheim. You forget what their team name is, Mighty Ducks. It's all right there. What is design supposed to do? It's not necessarily design. There's a difference between art and design, right? Art is, you know, a little more spontaneous, and usually, you know, it's made to, you know, just look good or whatever. Design has a purpose. It's meant to do a certain thing. For a hockey jersey, the design is supposed to tell you, this is what team this jersey belongs to. And how else do you do it than literally just Mighty Ducks of Anaheim right there? And if, you know, maybe you think, uh, you know what, I, I don't remember what team this is, but I think if I saw the initials that I remember, just look at your shoulder. MD, there you go, Mighty Ducks. <laughs> you know what else is cool Mark about Duck. this jersey? Purple. How many teams, and eggplant, let's be specific, but it's a shade of purple. How many teams have used purple in the NHL? Like two ever? Anaheim and LA? I mean, there's probably, there might be at least one more. Thank you for your ceiling, Burkus. Um, yeah, my sometimes the camera for my computer gets the color weird. Crazy, I have to do that reset. Burkus might be wearing an NHL jersey of a team using purple right now. <laughs> Who is it? And I lavender. think every team used it. I don't think I don't think it's that unique. That is lavender. Honest. Thank you very much. Lavender. I hardly know her. Baba Booey. <laughs> Either way. How many other teams have used purple on a jersey, or at least prominently? I can only think of one, and it's the LA Kings. This one is purple. It's a very unique color. And you know what? It actually doesn't go too bad with that black right there. And they keep it simple. They have two colors. They have the purple, and they have the black. And to accent it, they have white and gray. They keep it simple. Grayscale and some purple. You don't want to add too many colors in there to muddy it up, do you? I rest my case for now. All right. <laughs> for now. I'll be honest, I can't even tell you where the purple on that jersey is right now. I'm not even You know, it has purple, but if you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know. Um, I had other thoughts, but I, I've forgotten all of them. Um, because I've just been looking at it. And oh, being, yes, Depot you know, wins then. Just <laughs> being a thing. Yeah. How disgusting. Um, you know what's... You know what is, you know what, you know what? <laughs> what, what, what? Nice no, one, Justin. 
We've talked a lot about spelling, and I think something cool about um, the Bruins' current alternate is that it's an enigma. You know, what does B stand for? Does it stand for Bruins? Does it stand for Boston? Does it stand for Berkus Circus? It probably does because he's a really cool guy, and he's, you know, I'd want him on my jersey. Maybe it stands for Bussin because this jersey is positively Bussin. You know what um, I think the B stands uh, for? But Jeff Bacarder. The Jeff Picarder, yes. yeah. <laughs> Beth Bart. Justin, Justin, all you have to do is not say the name of Jeff Carter in the next, like, Ooh. And to, Ooh. how long do you take to argue and you win? I seriously 100% believe that, I'll be honest. <laughs> um, you know, this is cool, flying. You can see in this picture, Charlie McAvoy's feet are not on the ground, much like Boston Bruins legend uh, Bobby Orr. Um, so this is yet another example that Bruins jerseys give um, hockey players the power of flight which, um, surprisingly, Ducks jerseys do not, because I see two legs there, um, you know, firmly on the ice. So I think that's a little bit um, embarrassing when you're named after a duck and you can't even fly, um, whereas a team named after a bear seems to have mastered the power of flight. Um, so pretty exciting stuff coming out of Boston. Um, people also mentioned that you don't want too many, too many colors to muddy up a look, yet his has four. Um and mine has three, so I think I win there, even by his own logic. So I guess he's just bad. Um, I think it's also cool when a you know jersey numbers and and stuff like match the logo, and both you know you have the yellow B and you have a white outline directly on it, and same with the numbers. Um, so kind of exciting, you know. Ah, continuity but indeed, there. so do mine because um, you have the purple logo, you have the white Anaheim inside of it, so you have the white Anaheim surrounded in purple, surrounded in gray, so. <laughs> Yeah, but what color? What color is Mighty there. Ducks? Huh? What color is Mighty Ducks? Not white. So inconsistency. You're bad. Not every character on the thing is designed the same way. You're bad. Um, um, yeah, and you know, Beepo also said that naughty guy's name. So it's no contest, really. It really isn't. Justin wins. Wow. <laughs> 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 even if would have won anyway. The but fuck Jeff Carter. Even if we ignore the arbitrary decisions, man, I'm getting boned. <laughs> <laughs> I have not had very good jerseys to argue for. <laughs> I was gonna say this was this is a tough one. What was your I first? The... One? What what did I have? I had this uh, one. There was the um. What was it? Was it? One against the, the other Bruins, 2016. One. The other I ducks the, one. Yeah, I had the other ducks one. Oh yeah, this is only. Oh, the that's why. Both no, times me and people have argued against each other, it's been Ducks Bruins. That's funny. Oh, Good yeah. news is if we do a round three, that won't happen. There you go. Wow. We can well, do a round three. Who knows? We'll find out later. Cool. Well, what was my other one that I had to argue for? Because there were three. I don't know. You argued something with uh, me. I... The was stars. That oh, that's the Darian had... that stars one. Okay. <clears throat> final. Well, for the final, final round, me. Probably me versus me, you, Berkus. me, you, you, me, you, me. Bippy versus Berkey. I hate that. You know what's fun? Breaking news Peter Mrazik <laughs> injured his groin in the Leafs game tonight. Peter Mrazik got injured. Get it? Shocker. Get it? So, get it? Uh, Guys, get it? Breaking news. He broke his groin. <laughs> so the Leafs starting goalie is now Eric Shelgren, and their backup goalie is not I'm Justin broken. Wolf. He got hurt in a Marley's game, too, so I don't even know who their backup goalie is. It's going to be an ECHL goalie. Gwinnett Graphics will be very excited about that. David Ayers. I love it. I love it. Give me David Ayers full time. You know, you know, that's another argument from that Hurricanes jersey. David Ayers. He didn't play in it, but he's pretty cool. But he could have. A lot cooler than Jeff Carter. <laughs> <laughs> F. Jarter. All right, Berkus. I've got two jerseys in here. In the Berkus corner. But I'm okay. not going to tell you uh, who's, 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 who's got, yet. Who got first? Huh? Who got first last time? I think. Not... I, I went first last time, so you, you'd go first. Okay, so I get first one. Yeah. Symmetry is fun. I'm going to do something different this time, I think, and unveil both jerseys, but I'm not going to say who's, who's yet because I don't know either. Ooh. In corner number okay. one. And in corner number two. Uh, and now... The Bruins again. <laughs> to decide who gets what jersey. 
I'm going to pop over here to a random number generator <laughs> between one and two. Random number generator. <laughs> so, Berkus, I guess this will be for your jersey. Uh, the Senators will be one, and Bruins will be two. Senators, okay. it is. All right. I did it live, so that oh, way. Bullshit. <laughs> I call Burgess, bullshit. give I me a break. One, Have you, you seen the it. jerseys that I had to go for? Give me a break. Counterpoint, of, it's funny. Out of it four, out of four jerseys, I've had three Bruins jerseys so far. Well, you're judging this one. Oh, I'm judging. I'm a, no. Well, I'm judging. Yes. Wait, yes. did oh, you just judge? That's right, I am. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I did yeah, just no, judge. You're right. Okay. I guess, I think you went first last time, right? So I go first? Yeah. Sure. Good luck. Hi, Justin's LSA. She got <laughs> I think she has headphones in. <laughs> does she even okay. know what LSA means? Yeah, she does. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Not only <laughs> is this Sanders jersey better than this Bruce yes. jersey, it is the second best black jersey in any jersey. Oh. Um, second second black the Bruins jersey. One. No, no, behind a Carolina Hurricanes alternate. Come on. Um, but anyways, so remember the point I made last time about how red is the third most common color, yada, 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 nerd linguistics, nerd linguistics shit. Yeah, yeah this thing, yeah, that thing happens again. Um, this jersey is so nice that the Ottawa Senators decided to bring it back for their right-net decision. We're going to go with yes. <laughs> uh, the... You know, it's nice and bold, very vibrant. There is no mistaking what colors are wear on this jersey. You know what else this jersey has? Consistent socks. The Bruins one doesn't. It also has a better logo. Oh. Than other logos. Um, and yeah, it has the sho the logo on the shoulders flip, which is a nice little detail. You know what the logos on this Bruins jersey do? They spoke crack. Don't smoke cocaine. Cocaine is very bad for you. Um, Even cocaine? I don't know. Is that is that how you do I cocaine? Don't I don't know. I don't know how cocaine works. I'm a Christian. Um, <laughs> I don't. I mean, let me let me establish that right here. Uh, and you know what? The center jersey also has a neat little memorial patch, which that Bruins jersey also has. Um, but you know. The Senders one is probably better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, red is better than yellow. And this, this is, is the first time fact. unequivocally say that the person defending the jersey absolutely does not believe what they are saying. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the first one I didn't, but I had the energy to pretend I did. This one. <laughs> this, I think I just hate this one more because they brought it back. I'm not helping myself by talking, still am I? Fuck Jeff Carter. This one is better than the version they brought back because it has white at least. That is true. Fuck Jeff Carter. That And to start my argument, that's what I was going to say. Not fuck Jeff Carter. We love Jeff Carter here, don't we, Justin? We, uh, you know what we're wearing <laughs> you <know>? right now? <laughs> we are wearing black Jeff and yellow jerseys. You know what this jersey is? Black and yellow. We must be a big fan of black oh. and yellow, right? So there we go. We got black hey. and yellow to begin with. And the center hey. you said they brought these jerseys back. No, they didn't. They removed all the white from it. They brought back something different. Gonna, if that if this version was I'm just good enough, put on my I'm just gonna put on my black, <laughs> red, and gold hat here to kind of balance the scales a little bit. <laughs> he, Justin wants to pick mine. Deep down inside, he knows. I'm if this jersey That's... was so good. Wouldn't the senators have just brought this back as it is? And I, you know, I don't know. the senators are a bunch of idiots. Okay, can't argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what look at the patch that this guy has on his jersey Ray Bork right there Stanley Cup final patch that means they made the Stanley Cup final in that jersey or is that the you know what it's yeah, Stanley no, Cup final I don't know it might not be the Stanley Cup final think, patch but it is the Stanley think, Cup final patch hey, you've convinced <laughs> me hey Justin if I can name what that patch is do you give me the win if you can name a yeah. player currently on the Pittsburgh Penguins who wears the same number as Ray Bork in that picture, I'd consider it. Jeff Carter. Fuck him. <laughs> also. <laughs> uh, I think I know what that patch actually is. That patch. You know what? It's the Stanley Cup final patch. Celebrates 
I want to. I, nope, I don't want to hear passes. anything about it. No, I want to say what it is so I can get this win. Let me do it. Uh, that it's patch the Stanley Cup celebrates final the hundredth anniversary. It celebrates the hundredth anniversary of the Stanley Cup. So it's the Stanley Cup final patch. No, yeah, all the exactly. season wore because okay. the Stanley Cup was turning a hundred that year. It's, gotcha. It's because Stanley the Bruins made. It's a Stanley because Cup. Because the Bruins match. made the Stanley Cup. Yeah, I got you. You know what else about this jersey? I honestly, you know, I don't know how much I truly need to argue for it because it's just such a nice looking jersey. It's got the classic Bruins spoked B on it. It's got a very simple, you know, yellow, white, yellow striping on both the arm and the hems. And you know what else is another unique thing that they do? Yellow, that they did, yellow socks. And that adds another nice, bright splash pop of color. So, you know what? It's also confusing. It makes people sad. (laughs) I'm just spitting facts. Facts. You're spitting something. I don't know if it's facts. (laughs) You know what else is good about black and yellow? Black and yellow just scored a goal. So vote Whoa. black and yellow. We both wings, black and yellow. Oh, yeah, so the Blue Jackets. All over well, Bjorkstrand. Yeah, it's but the Blue Jackets aren't black, red, and white. Uh, they're close, and they had an alternate that was black, red, and white, and also other colors. Hear me out. The Bruins are losing their game right now, and Ottawa is tied, so Ottawa must be better. And I named a patch on the thing, which you said would give me an instant win. You said that, not just I me. I said I'd consider it. Have you considered it? Hear me out, I Perkis. considered it. Do you remember whenever the uh, Columbus Blue Jackets unveiled their reverse retro jersey that was red, and you really hated that jersey because it was red? That's Why would what, you like that's this because, jersey? Because it has red on it. Because the, because the Senators aren't called the Ottawa Com- Com- Black Senators. I, I think I gotta go with the team whose name ends in an S. Oh, wait. Uh, team whose name starts with... Now, who gets... I get a, okay, that means I get a loser point. I get two loser points. I think you need, okay. to, I think you need to pick the one that starts with a letter between B and O. Oh, B-O. Nice. I got that. <laughs> wait, what? That's what Raymond Bork had after it's, this picture. It's, it's the Bruins. It's always been the Bruins. Come on now. Yeah, that, that's fair. <laughs> I won one of them. Yay. That Bruin is like arguably like I love their current one. I think their current one is probably their best ever, but like I think that one definitely has an argument to be their best ever. Um Honestly, whereas the I Senators are one's probably my favorite have an argument one. to be their best ever, but only because like all of their jerseys ever has sucked. There's a left and right comparison there. Look at baby Patrice. We love him. I want to do a mini argument for this because I actually I definitely think the 2007 with Dubrovs are much better. All right, it's better. It has more yellow with the scope. The, <laughs> stripes, are more go on. <laughs> the, the stripes are more consistent, and the logo is better. Fight me. I think it's fair. I mean, I uh, like the new logo that. better too. But take the new logo, stick it on the old template. That's part of me wish, add, part add me wishes. That the the striping were flipped on the current jersey, so it would like mimic the the logo with like a yellow stripe outlined in black, and then that with white around it, kind of like how there's a light in the circle like behind the spokes. I feel like that would be too much white, but not enough yellow. What I if, think so. Too, the shoulder it being being. There. But what if instead they flipped the logo? So it sounds the white, version. but it could work. I'm intrigued. I want to knock that up. I like where your head's at. I'm going to do it as we do the next segment. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I that... I leave, it'll, I leave it'll screw up the video. That concludes our first game of Convince Me. Um, if you liked it, let us know. We might do it again. We might not. Um, I had fun. I don't know about you guys. Um, I think Burgess had a lot of bad opinions, but what else is new? Um, so... <laughs> um, we will move on to our next segment that I will also be the in charge person of. And this is a game that we had played in the past um, and we're bringing it back. I don't think Berkus has ever played, so this should be fun. Uh, but our, our new game or our game that we're bringing back is called Career Closet. And so what I'm going to do is um, I have seven people, individuals, whatever, prepared. Um, so I will name um, 
a list of some different jerseys they wore in their career. They are in order of when they played for these teams, um, which could be apparent given the jerseys um, and the years they were worn. Um, but from each player's stint with a particular team, I've chosen, um, I've tried to pick kind of the most notable jersey, um, like, you know, an alternate rather than a home or a road, or, you know, if, if any was particularly notable, like the Pooh Bear or something like that. I've tried to throw that in there just so just to take a look at, you know, we have a lot of jerseys in our closets, obviously, but potentially if these players were to keep jerseys from their career, what, what would their collection look like? So I tried to pick the most compelling um, jerseys they have one for each team. Um, and I will run through that list. And then Brendan and Matt will have a chance to try and guess um, which player it is. Quick question um, for the way that you did the, the slideshow for me. Did you use like yes. actual game images of other players in the same jersey? No, so they are actually that player. So, so we should be able oh, to and figure you just it out. Crop to the image. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it's I like was it's like sure just... I wasn't see some, seeing something that I wasn't supposed to see. Here. No, you're good. It's like okay. just the it's like just the chest. Um, so there are some little number teasers in there, but a lot of these players change their numbers, so it might not actually be helpful. Huh. Uh, but let's make a bold prediction. Okay. I think what? one of them, probably the last one, is going to be Jack Carter. Oh, I wish. I'm not. <laughs> I will say there is an opportunity for a, a bonus point at the end, but I'm not going to say anything more than that um, until then. I will. I will. Jeff Carter is a little bitch. <laughs> there you go. Negative one points for Perkins. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I, I Like I said, I'm going to lose a million points if I spread the gospel uh, that is Jeff Carter is a motherfucker. Um, shall we start it? Uh... Sure. Yeah, I just need one moment here to pull it up uh, properly. Justin, did you not use Google Slides? He did not because I did not tell him to. I was, I told hey, him I was not I was instructed <laughs> to do otherwise. All right. Oh. So are we ready for the first one? I think I'm ready. ready. All right. So... The first one um, for um, this one's a little fun because it's topical to our episode. Um, but for those um, who don't know what they're seeing or those who are listening, um, this first player has four different jerseys um, that they have have worn, shown. Are these um, in order? These are in order. Um, a lot of recent ones. Um, so this player wore the 2020. Oh, that's um, the reverse retro. I thought that was yeah. like the original. The 2020 Nashville Predators um, winter classic jersey with Nashville, of course. He also wore, as Burgess just mentioned, the um, New York Rangers Lady Liberty reverse retro. Um, he wore the Seattle Kraken home jersey, and he also is one of the few players to wear. Um, and before I finish, I'm going to say three, two, one. Um, that oh, way are we, we have competing because I already know the answer. Yes, we are competing. Um, and then they wore the um, Black Leaf jersey, and that player is three, two, one. Colin Blackwell. Colin Blackwell, yes, indeed. I follow the yeah. a little bit, so. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. I, I just listened to the Steve Dangle podcast, and they just talked about this guy. There you go, oh, exactly. This one was meant to not Giordano. <laughs> and who this else one was meant to be a fair one. Also ties in with with the episode. So if we go to the next slide, we can reveal Mister Mister Blackwell in all his glory. This. Let me let me delete this. Okay, never mind. Or we can't. No worries. <laughs> I'm gonna Technical difficulty. Out. I don't know why it's not letting me delete this top. Oh, I've hit the edit button. There we go. Now I can turn oh. on that panel again. And now this thing's on it. And boom, there we go. Boom, Colin Blackwell with one L because he's weird. All right, next up. You have two there. What? The first name, I, th I think he made. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> He actually has Next. three L's in his last name. That's true. Four total. All right. Next up, um, we have a player with six jerseys, so quite a few here. Um, the um, question, is it worth me walking through all the jerseys for the people on Spotify? Yeah. Or, yeah, or should we do that after the fact, though? That way it's more of a race and you all have less time to think. I think do it before. Yeah, do it before. Right. So that way, so they can, have, that, that way, that way, that way they the can audience play can play along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So we have the black diagonal bolts alternate um, from Tampa Bay Lightning, of course. The Rangers' current home, or sorry, road, well, both, honestly. Um, the Senators' 100 classic jersey that then became their alternate. The um, current Avs home, the current Wings home, and the current um, Stars road. And actually, since I made this, this player has also worn, since we're talking about more interesting jerseys, um, they wore the Stars' new black alternate as well, the Skyline alternate. So this player is three, two, one. Vlad Nemestikov. Vlad Nemestikov. Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was like, I got no clue. I, 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 I didn't know on the Stars, but I knew he went from the Bolts to the Rangers, and then from the. There you go. And then I knew he played for the Avalanche. So I, like, I forgot I how many teams he's been on now. Man. Yeah, I was surprised. Now, whenever you when or whenever you've made these, have you done every player or like every jersey they've worn or like every team they've been on? Or yes, yeah, so yeah, okay. so there is one for each each team stint. Obviously, it's not every jersey they've worn because that would include oh. like the home whatever. But um... oh, I deleted the whole slide. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Stop deleting the whole slide. I am not having a good time on here. Apparently, that's all right. We don't we don't need the, uh... the answer. It's <laughs> fine. There it is. Vlad Nemestikov, looking derpy as ever. I did not realize he was ever on Ottawa. Me neither. I didn't know until I made that. I just remember him on Tampa. I have a vague Ottawa. memory now that I've seen I him. Honestly, I didn't even realize. I thought he went from Tampa Bay to Detroit Street. I didn't realize he went to all those other teams. Yeah. Man. All right. Next one, I guess. Next one, he guesses is a player who has seven jerseys here. Yeah. Um, so quite a few. Um, one of them is the uh, Hurricanes old road um, before they went to the diagonal Canes one. The Bruins current road, the Blue Jackets um, alternate. So maybe this is a slam dunk one for Burgess. Maybe I already uh, I already know it. There you go. The Leafs home, the Jets um, Heritage Classic disgusting alternate, the Bolts road, and the um, Arizona Cody Kachina. And this player is three, two, one. Patrick Lyon. Riley Nash. Rick Nash. No. <laughs> I said Riley, Riley Nash. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, I was gonna say I had. He, no said, idea. Pa- he said Patrick. I said Rick Patrick Lyon. Yeah. <laughs> because we're looking at players who played on both the Blue Jackets and the Jets, right? Totally. Yeah. There you go. I like. Yeah. Right? You know, yeah. not not anyone else. No one else has done. So, fun that. fact: at least I think four of these teams. Correct me if I'm wrong, Burkus. I was gonna I go think, through and delete all the other ones, but I can't. <laughs> I think four of these teams are all this year. I don't think he played for the Blue Jackets this year, but the rest he of did not. Are... Uh, we traded him at the last deadline for a first round pick and a third. Somehow, there you go. Uh, he does not deserve a first round pick and a third round pick. There uh, you go. What are all these? And other then teams? he didn't play for these other teams. It was just the Blue Jackets <laughs> and the Jets. So it was only the Blue Jackets right. and the Jets. It's Patrick Lyon. And then Lyon. we traded him to the Maple Leafs. I love yeah, it. We, tra- we traded him to the Maple Leafs. And then uh, I think Dang it. he signed he either signed with the Jets or was oh, traded man. to the Jets very early the next oh, season. That looks like and Benedict Cumberbatch in that picture. <laughs> yeah, and then he spent all the rest of it going through waivers. We, we like this one Blue Jackets webpage I'm a fan of has in right four has been making jokes about how he's going everywhere. Yeah, he's been the journeyman of this year. That's why I thought it'd be fun to include. He's like doubled. He's like doubled the number of teams he's been on. All right. So many of those were this year. Wow. Not yeah. yeah. Oh, At God. least judge through Coyotes. At least. Yeah, he's been one of the bigger waiver guys this year. Huh. Uh, All right. Okay. So next up, we have a player. I think with four teams. If I'm remembering the order correctly. Yes. So this player wore the um, whatever Winter Classic that was with the Blackhawks because 17? they worked their ones. Um, I think 17 is right. Um, the Blue Jackets, again, um, home jersey. The um, And I truthfully didn't know this player ever played for the first two teams. Um, the Canucks, um, current oh. hair alternate, whatever they want to call it, and the Rangers, current road. And this player is 3-2-1. Tyler Mott. It is. Well done. Well done. Yeah, we got him in the uh, Panera's Assad deal. I think it was Assad one. 
There you go. I had no recollection of him ever being a Blackhawk. I was like, it has to be from the Saad trade. Who came over from the Saad trade? Yeah, right. There you go. The Penguins are playing I didn't against realize him this was right now. I no heavy. Idea. has been slanted. I is this, what is the that. score? 3-1? Yeah. 3-2. Three 3-2. Two. Three two. No. Okay. With Who do you have that's not... Left. So, well, I guess we'll see what happens. Who do you have that's not... Back. Who do you have that's... Who's the second one? Colin Blackwell and... Is it no one else. One? No, um, I got them. Stick off. Oh, yeah, I got, I got one. I got. Yeah, yeah, you have. That's you three do. one. Okay, I thought we had only done four. There's three one. Um, Beepo needs to win them all to win. Well, he might win on the on the bonus points at the end, so we'll see. But Beepo needs to start getting some. Um, so hopefully, this next one can help. Hopefully, this um, proves that I didn't cheat. <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> All right, so the next um, player um, is a goalie, as you can see here. Um, and he has played for five different franchises. Um, so we have the Ottawa Senators, Barber Pole, Black. Um, we have the Avalanche, Current Road. We have the Sabres, um, former Road um, with the Navy. We have the Wilds, Current Away. And then we have the Canadians, Current Home. So a lot of typical, you know, home and road sweaters here. But so we have a goaltender, which should help a little bit. Um, this player is three, two, one, and possibly more time. Andrew Hammond. Andrew Hammond. Oh, it was well, okay. Well done. Uh, well I was done. very yeah. unsure about that. <laughs> the hamburger. I, I yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that. I was thinking Colton Primo, but I was like, I yeah, remember just... the Senators, and I thought it sounded right that he played for the Avalanche, and I'm pretty sure he was involved with Min or Montreal yeah. recently. I thought he was traded away from Montreal, mm -hmm. or was he? He was, but he hasn't played a game yet. So. Okay. That explains it. Forgot that he was ever in Minnesota or Buffalo. I think he was. Buffalo's, he was Buffalo's the main way I know him. Really? I How? feel like yeah. I, primarily just that uh -huh. Ottawa. So, yeah. I, think it was I guess Ottawa that's a team. Stint. Yeah, the I guess that's a team. He was on an NHL 18. I don't know. Huh. There you go. I think the 2017 playoff run was when he was kind of like sudden like he was like the jordan bennington of that year that? Um, i just remember the whole hamburglar thing but i think that was even earlier mm -hmm. than that maybe it was maybe it was the year before i don't know Might um, have been either way there. the score is now three two so much more intriguing um Oop, i shouldn't have moved on yet should the I? next player oh, is not a go. goalie uh, there you go the next player um wore the capitals retro red jersey um, the uh, this player's closet is phenomenal, by the way. Um, the Capitals retro red jersey, oh. the um, New Jersey Devils heritage uh, white, the Bruins um, white winter classic jersey of 2019, the Sabres 50th anniversary with the gold, um, the Minnesota Wild current home, the Kraken road, and now as well the Capitals new alternate. Um, so lots of jerseys here. This player is three, two, one. Marcus Johansson. Marcus Johansson. Whoa. I think that's a dead heat. Say, I, think I think that's we a tied top. on that. We both knew that one. That's, I, I thought I beat that, but whatever. I'm fine. <laughs> so that's three and I saw and a half Seattle two. back to Washington and then started at Washington. I was like, all right, I know this one. <laughs> there you yeah. go. I forgot so he that's... ever played for the Bruins and the Sabres, though, and the Wild. Same. Same. I, I knew the Sabres. I forgot the – and I knew the Sabres and Devils. I forgot the Bruins and – wild like seeing it it's there like oh, yeah i remember when he played for the bruins and the sabers i forgot that he ever played for the wild <laughs> right but honestly this has got to be like one of the best jersey closets in recent history yeah, that's a like, nice like, one. phenomenal looks there although the problem is you kind of got the other capitals ones to drag it down i guess and the other devils yeah. the other yeah the other yeah the retros kind of suck <laughs> you kind of pick the best of the bunch for a couple of these <laughs> oh for sure that's yeah. that's the goal all right so into our our last Four round of potentially three, then, i guess we yeah. both get a point uh, yeah sure. I, would, I would say two and a half to three and a half fair um so the last one oh, i forgot to, um here's the answer Surprise! You ready, Marcus? Jones. Are we ready? To all his glory. Yeah. We ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm... Ooh. So the last player, three jerseys. Uh, the Canucks um, old alternate with the stick in the rink. Um, the Red Wings current road, and then the LA Kings current home. This player is three, two, one. 
All righty. Andrews Athanaseu? Beepo? There's a name on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. I'm blanking. If, Danny DeKaiser? If, oh, if you both concede, I'll give you a hint. Um, so, Beepo's current guess is not correct, but it's the right position. What did he say? Beepo's guess? Oh, no, sorry, not Beepo. Burkus's current guess and is the right one's position. It is the current guess. Oh, DeKaiser? Okay. Oh, you said defenseman? Yes, sir. Ooh. They've been stumped. I have no idea. I don't follow any of these teams. Can you give me a jersey number? Uh, let me pull it. it up. I don't think I don't think it's been consistent. I can see a seven on the first one. But... I don't know how much it would help. Let me. I'll pull up his jersey. I'll give you the jersey number for every single team he's played on. Oh boy. Um, so on the Canucks, he wore fifty-one. On the um, Red Wings, he wore seventy, and on the Kings, he now again wears fifty-one. Um, he played for the North Dakota uh, University of North Dakota in um, college. Um, he's from Richmond, BC. Um, he's 5'10", 186 pounds. He's right. <laughs> I have no idea. Who am I forgetting about? So I'll, LA I'll, Kings defense we'll, we'll, Drew Doughty. <laughs> we'll do it like a, we'll do it like we'll do it like a wordle. I'll we'll start by giving you one letter at a time. How about that? <laughs> First letter uh, of his last name is S. Simon? Oh. Come on, I know this. I Sutter? Think. Brandon Sutter? Brandon Sutter is a forward and is, I don't even know where he plays. Um, S T. I know this. The name is on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Troy Stetcher, that's it. There it is. There Troy it is. Stetcher. <laughs> Troy Stetcher, one of the uh, Vancouver bubble players who played really well in the bubble, and then they didn't keep him on, along with Chris Tanev and Jacob Markstrom and all those people. Um, and he ended up going to Detroit. Okay, so it's tied, which right. works out really well because now the tiebreaker question Can you tell Steph me? Steph Carter. Probably. Can you? No, no, no. It's oh, not a guess. No more slide that's not even on here. Can you tell me what is the common thread that links all seven of these players together? They were traded at the trade deadline, deadline this yeah. year. You were. There you go. So, Burgess wins. Does he? We both said that. <laughs> well, he said it first because you're bad. Okay. And I was not. Ex- like, I'm not gonna lie. I was one? not expecting the bonus question to be so obvious. I was going through this and I was like, "Weren't all of these guys there. just traded?" <laughs> there you go. Um, I wasn't sure whether I was gonna like lead with that or leave it at the end, so <laughs> I chose to leave it at the end. Um, okay. So there we go. Okay. Another round. Burkus, of- I got a question for you. Justin, and I mm-hmm. I mentioned it to Justin. I was like, "Don't use this one because I know this one." Can you name? Every team that Derek Broussard has played for, there are, what, 10 of them, correct? Yeah, I mean, I don't, to be honest, I don't know this one. Okay. Like, I can, can either I'm, of you I'm do like, it then. I was going to say, I haven't recently. I'm not going to look it up because I want to gonna, see gonna, if I can do it off my memory again if you guys. So can. we gonna, have gonna, Penguins. Wait, no, no, I, I got it. I, I want to do it. Okay. okay. I'm going to see if I can do it in order. Blue Jackets, Rangers. Penguins, Islanders, Senators, Flyers, I believe Islanders again. You're already wrong. I yeah, I was going to say, that. you were wrong whenever you said Pittsburgh third. <laughs> oh. So, I mean, you, uh, you've gotten the teams right. You just haven't gotten them in order. Oh, uh, okay. Um. Ten. Do, we want, uh, do you want? Do you want to phone a friend? You've got four left. Four left. I'm, I'm going to run through them alphabetically in my head. Give me a second. <laughs> no, maybe. 
Beepo, do you have the actual list up? No, because I wanted to Powerful. see if I could figure it out myself yeah. again if you guys did. Gotcha. <laughs> so. I know at least one, and I think there's another one that Burkus hasn't mentioned as well. Edmonton? Uh, Edmonton South, right? I said the Senators, right? You did. I'm not sure. That's the one. That's one of the ones that I thought that I know he uh, has. Uh, mention it. You have his path out of Pittsburgh. You got seven out of ten. Florida. Yeah. Eight. He was part of the Jared McCann trade. Ah. Uh... Do you have me with Colorado? That's Colorado, right? That is right. One more. One more? There is one. So what are all the ones that he has so far? So yeah, far, repeat the ones I have. Columbus, New York Rangers, and this yeah. is not in Berthard order, by the way. Columbus, sure. New York Rangers, Pittsburgh Penguins, New York Islanders, Ottawa Senators, Philadelphia Flyers, Edmonton Oilers, Florida Panthers, and Colorado Avalanche. I can give you guys a hint if you guys need. I have a guess. No, no did he not play, yet. Did, did he play for the Ducks ever? Nope. Hmm. No. My hint was just going to be where in Derek Broussard's career it falls. But... Ooh. I like that. Marcus. Arizona? That is correct. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. I will Wasn't gladly that... take that. Wasn't that earlier this year, Arizona? I don't know if it was oh. earlier this year or if he signed with Philly in the off season, because Broussard yeah. order is Blue Jackets, Rangers, Senators, Penguins, Panthers, Avalanche, was... Islanders, Coyotes, Flyers, and currently the Edmonton Oilers. There you go. Oh, I didn't realize he played there. Yeah, he got traded at the deadline. Yep. That's... Another deadline guy. Which I which I forgot about until the until I started going through them alphabetically. Literally, the Coyotes were like one of the first teams I thought of, and I just like assumed that it was set for some reason, and then That's I totally right. like didn't even think about it ever again. Like, Sarge I, I'm proud of myself for that in one. August of 2021, uh, okay. which would have been off season, I believe. So, so I didn't say any incorrect ones, right? I just you did, said we have to. Oh wait, no. Did Justin said an incorrect one? Anaheim. Oh, I said. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't think he said an incorrect yeah, I'll, one. I'll I'll gladly take that. Yeah, I was about well, to say Detroit, but I'll gladly take that. So he's played for ten. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What was so the record did... from that one guy? Mike record Sellinger. Sleep. He played for twelve. Wasn't it okay, like so he, either, he either got traded to twelve, but played for eleven or something like that? Or like uh, got traded uh, he, to 12, he played for teams, twelve teams. He was traded nine times. Or so like what needs to happen or, is, or I don't know, something like that. What needs to happen is when the Vegas Golden Knights, now that they're screwed, they trade Dodona off to the Coyotes for Broussard. So Broussard. And Except that'll get up to 11. Except Broussard in Edmonton. Season. Except he's on the Oilers, yeah. That's what I meant. Uh, then uh, that'll get them to 11. And then, I don't know, Seattle. I've got a question for y'all. Similar yeah. vein. Um, there are, let's see, um, Broussard is the ninth player to play for 10 or more teams. Who are the other eight? Mike Sillinger. I am uh, Mike Sillinger, yeah. So who are the other seven? I don't know if I have a, a single answer for this one. <laughs> Yarmir Yager? Did he get the oh, 10? That's a... No, he did I, not. He Mine not. 10. Yeah, he didn't. I feel like the problem with this is no, that wait. you're not going to have any big notable names. You're just going to have a lot of journeymen who, you know, yeah. are uh, good enough. The, that the, the only other, you're going to have the players the that are good other, enough that teams want them, but bad enough that it, they're not like, you need to stay here, you know? Yeah. The only other name I can think of that would maybe be close is Curtis McElhaney, but I think he's only at, like, five. Yeah. I've got so there are, there. looking at the list, there I'm are I'm going to recognize the names the... once you say them, but I cannot name them off the top of my head. Three of the names are one I would are ones that I would think of. Um, one of them is Lee Stempniak. Oh, that's uh, right. 
who had several stints with the with Toronto, signed him and then just traded him at the deadline. Um, Matthew Schneider, who started his career with Montreal for a long time. I think I, I, think I might have remembered one. Thomas Vanek? No. Okay, continue. Another one um, who played for the Penguins, um, Dominic Moore. Um, right. Oh, and the Blue Jackets. Yes. And then um, the only other one I would have thought of, and I, I think of him as a fairly marquee player. I just didn't realize he played for this many teams, but he kind of got passed around at the end of his career, is uh, Florida Panthers legend Ole Jokinen. Oh, that's right. I remember seeing an yeah. graphic with some of these names on it. Yeah. I just couldn't remember any of them. Yeah. And then there's a handful of people I would never have thought of. Um, JJ Dignol, never heard of him. Played from, I mean, played from the 80s until 2000, so not really our time. Michael Pettit, um, again, played from the 80s until 98, so before our time. And then Mike Sillinger is the other one. Um, so I believe. And, and then, oh, I miss, I miss Jim Dowd as well, who played from yeah. 19. 19- one to 2008. Believe me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Mike Sillinger is the father of current Blue Jacket Cole Sillinger. I believe he is. Thank you. Cole Sillinger, dad. Mike Sillinger, you're right. Yep. Cole Sillinger, yeah. born in Columbus, Ohio, playing for the hometown team. All righty. That concludes career closet and associated trivia. Anything else on tap tonight, gentlemen? Uh, we do. Letter, yes. Letter game. I have a You're good game. for that. All right, let's go then. Yeah, I'm gonna lose again. Uh, I think I'm really good. So are. before we start, last time I had a poor performance, and I kind of think I might again. I think what I'm really good at is if you tell me a player, I can probably tell you where they play. Um, I mean, that's not a guaranteed thing, um, especially if they're smaller names or recently traded and I forgot about them, uh, forgot sure. about it. But, <laughs> like, I'm a lot better at that than I am, like, naming a team's roster off the top of my head. So I think I think that's my explanation there. But, hey, I had fun last time. I'm going to have fun again, even if I lose. Let's there go. you go. <laughs> this time, you get to keep seeing my pretty little face. Uh... Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot Burkus had to tap out for that one. <laughs> Let me yeah. close my close my fantasy team window here cheat on all right <laughs> uh this is similar we're gonna have 11 total uh in order of what i think is easiest to hardest okay uh all right first up and for those who don't know or weren't here last mm-hmm. time i'm gonna name them a team and then a letter and they have to name here give us the example player. from the penguins that you did last time Unless you're doing penguins. Well, the one I did last time for the penguins was name me a Pittsburgh penguin without the letter S. And I so that would include Dan include Hyde, Jeff Carter. Example. Jeff Carter. Fuck him. Uh, and you know, but that would include Sidney Crosby because he has an S in his first name, and and his last name. <laughs> name me a player who has an S in his last name on the penguins. Uh, uh, I was gonna say Dom Simone Rip. Um... <laughs> Sure, Zach but if Dom, Simone was... okay, yeah. if Dom Simone was still playing on the Penguins, you, you that wouldn't work either. Marcus, you have to say Patterson. His... Marcus Patterson, there we go. You have to say his full name. So, mm-hmm. yeah, and some of these are very obviously targeting a specific player. And I just realized that this first one, the player I was targeting, got traded at the deadline. So this would be <laughs> very easy. Uh, without using the letter G, name me a Philadelphia Flyer. Uh, Travis Konechny. There we go. So my, friend, Steve... my friend, I keep going to, he says without using G, and I'm like, ah, oh, G, you're rude. That. It's like, oh, yeah. I was about to say Carter Hart, and then I like I just froze up. I was like, wait, am I doing this right? <laughs> that seems too easy. Yeah. <laughs> Does yeah. Carter start with a G? The first, one was, the first one was already going to be easy. But I was then say, did you say easy. that you're mixing in some that's like name a player with this letter? No, it's just oh. all without. Okay. Hey, that would be a fun wrinkle. That would be a fun that would be a fun wrinkle. wrinkle. We can do that another time. All right. Without using the letter yeah, T, was, so one nothing, yeah. Justin. Okay. Without using the letter T, name me a Calgary Flame. Johnny Gaudreau. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Justin is up two nothing, and this is on track to, to go about as well for the depot. Have a key. Damn it. <laughs> mm, that's unfortunate. Without using the letter D, this one's arguing targeting two players. Name me an Edmonton Oiler. Uh, uh Zach Cassian. Sure. Could have said Ryan Nugent Hopkins, but sure. <laughs> could have said a lot of things. You could have said a lot of things. Uh, three nothing, Justin. 
Bipo, make this respectable. Without <laughs> using letter K, name me a Chicago Blackhawk. Jonathan, Jonathan Taves. Taves. You know, I think Justin got that slightly ahead, but I'm going to give it to Beepo out of sympathy. Oh, I... <laughs> I actually have no idea because I started saying it first, but also I might have a slight delay on Justin. So who knows? Fair. I, I think you like do have a slight delay, internet, but... so That's fair. I was like, I felt like I said it first by a lot, but who knows yeah, going through the other... It, it was... For me, it was like... I could tell it was Justin, but it was close. So. I like it. But I'm we're giving it to Beepo say, because, again, end, I definitely he's said it sad. He, like I said, Jeb before he started it, so I guess, Fair. It's, I guess yeah. it's internet. <laughs> a lot of targeting of specific players in this one. Without using the letter W, name me a Toronto Maple Leaf. Awesome, Matt. Nope, uh, Mitch Marner. There we go. That is 4-1. You start Justin. naming names, and then I forget the name that I was trying to find. <laughs> I feel like that's, I feel well, like that's strategy. Why don't, like, why don't you just stop doing that? Uh, Beepo. Um, without using the letter N, name me a Pittsburgh Penguin. Ricardo Cal. Nope. Yeah, there you go. There we go. There we go. Beepo got an actual point. Yay. Gosh, yeah. a... It's only my favorite team. Yay. That's the bar you had to get to. <laughs> I was going to say, I've been faster with all other teams than the Penguins yeah. so far. 4 2. Alrighty. Without using the letter Y, name me an Ottawa Senator. Brady Tom, the, the Thomas Shabbat. Nope, that is a Y. Okay. Thomas I, I think I think Bipo said right. it first, but I didn't hear what he said. I said he Brady said Brady Kachuk. So yeah, that does have a Y. Incorrect. Uh, okay, yeah. Justin gives that point then. 5-2. This one I think is going to be surprisingly difficult. And you can use their injured reserve. Without using the letter X, name me of Vegas Golden Knight. Jack Eichel? Uh, Mark Stone? Again, I think people said it first, but I didn't hear what he said. Jack Eichel? That doesn't have an X. Yeah. Yeah. But like Max Petrietti, uh Alex Petrangelo. I don't know. It was a uh. fair fit. <laughs> the uh, Vegas someone else I'm a probably lot forgetting. of star players because they're Vegas. Yeah, they do. You know, they're shiny. Without using the letter V... Name me a Tampa Bay Lightning player. Steven Stamkos. No, uh, Victor. Nope. <laughs> Stamkos? Uh, oh, nope. wait, right. Um, 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 uh, uh, Nick right. Paul. There we go. Oh, hey, Nick. Wow, that one was surprisingly. I was, <laughs> I was like, V, this will be easy. I was about to say Blake Coleman, and I was like, nope, he's not a, <laughs> he's nope, not a Tampa he's Lightning gone. anymore. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that one was surprising. I was like, this I is know. A when, I, when I came up with that, I was you very You said proud Stamkos, myself. and I was I like, why. He doesn't have a Y. Oh, never or uh, V. I was like, oh, never mind. There it is. <laughs> my head always goes to my head always goes to just like the first letters are what matter and not the rest for some reason. I say that then immediately following Stamkos with Victor Hedman with a V and Andre Vasilevsky both with it, but let's not worry about that. Yeah, Braden Point was the obvious one there, but the rest of their big five all have Vs. Yeah, so. that's wild. Uh. Okay, it's 6-3, so Justin has clinched it, but Beepo can still make it respectable. He's already doing better than last time. Yeah. <laughs> Wahoo. <laughs> uh, fuck Jeff Carter. Without using the letter M, name me a New York Ranger. By Capo Caco. There you go. Capo Caco. That works. Man, that's a really good name for this in general, because he has like three letters. <laughs> he has like four like... letters. B A. Oh, yeah. That's true. Oh. <laughs> He's pretty much I'm done, Granger player. Wow. All right. And then the last one. Without using the letter C, name me a New Jersey Devil. PK Subban. There we go. Final is 8 3. Although I don't, know, I don't know what PK stands for, so maybe it does have a C. Pierre Carl, so I uh, don't believe it does still. Ah, uh, there you go. How do you like, know that? It, isn't that common knowledge? No. Google PK Subban. Like, if you had to... Oh, it's yeah. actually it's actually Pernell Carl. Oh, Pernell Carl. Okay, my bad. I was wrong. Yeah, Pernell, I can understand why I went. Oh, it still doesn't have a cat or a C, so. Yeah. Pernell Carl Sylvester Subban. Why does this that say Pernell Carl Sylvester Subban M-S-C-O-L-Y? 
Is that a designation for something? You get like a degree in something? I don't know. I was like, is that a designation for something that I'm not aware of? Or is he secretly a military commander? I don't what was the question? Oh. What Wait. what the hell? PK Subban's title means. Oh yeah, MSC LLI. Yeah. MSC the. Meritorious Service Cross is a decoration that within the Canadian system of honors one of the uh, some sort of honor uh, I don't know OLY World Olympians Association to athletes who have participated in the Olympic Games huh does that like what I don't Why know does if that's actually actually part of his name or if that's just like a weird snippet from the Wikipedia uh, article that I think it's like look up up and that's like that, that happens in like I know like my like priests in college were like whatever like OP which was like order of the preachers or whatever and I think it's just something you can kind of throw it's like it's like if you were to let's say like oh like I'm whatever MD if you're a doctor right like it's it's technically usable but it's like you're not gonna introduce yourself as that most of the time unless you're like hella pretentious and say yeah Sydney Crosby is Sydney or Sydney Patrick Crosby ONS order of Nova Scotia <laughs> So yeah, but also presumably like O L Y, right? It would I be would like... also assume, yeah. Huh. Wow. Well, I guess we learned. Something anyway, today. that's the letter game. I love it. I, mean, I did bad good stuff. <laughs> you did. It's fine. That's all right. You'll improve eventually. Maybe. Probably not. I guess I just need to go studying each, uh, each and every NHL roster. There you go. Without <laughs> you naming know... a. Without naming a player that has worn a black jersey. <laughs> Without well, naming a player that's worn their black jersey, name me a Toronto Maple Leaf. There you go. Any any parting words? Have there, Jeff Carter sucks. Has there been a Toronto Maple Leaf that hasn't worn that jersey? Like, uh, on the, currently Jacob, on the team? Not Jacob Markstrom. Jack Campbell. Oh, that's true. Injured. Wendell Clark. I said currently on the team. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoever was a healthy scratch that one game, right? Like, or injured. Jack Campbell. Once. Rip. Yeah. Healthy or unhealthy scratch. Yeah. Well, anyways, just, that should be the name for the IR now. Unhealthy scratch. <laughs> I like it. I think uh, we're about <laughs> wrapped up with this one. Um, it's been I mean, about two I'm hours. So I don't. And, and the place I'm at closes in five. Okay, yeah, let's get awesome. out of here. Um, thank you guys for listening to the Jersey Nerds podcast. If you liked it, check us out on social media uh, or check out our blog, jerseynerds.wordpress.com. Links to all our socials are down below um, or just Twitter or Instagram at the underscore Jersey Nerds. Um, join our Discord. That link is also down below. Um, or anything else you can find about us is down below in the description. Basically, we got a link to nearly everything. So thank you very much for listening to the Jersey Nerds podcast. I am just recording a podcast. No, Burkus, you are wrong. The Jersey Nerds podcast is a production of Jersey Nerds Media. The Jersey Nerds are Beepo, Hunter, Justin, Chris, and Noah. And Will. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at the underscore Jersey Nerds and hit that link in our bio to find our blog, our Discord channel, our online store, and more. The podcast, wherever you listen to us, we really appreciate it. From the Jersey Nerds to you, thanks for just listening to a podcast about you.